What up YouTube? It's your boy Detroit Love with another video. Is the arcade one up game cabinet a toy? I don't think so. Let's talk about it. up YouTube it's your boy Detroit love with another video today we're talking about the terms that people are choosing uh, to describe the RK one up cabinet I've heard people use terms like oh it's not a real arcade it's a toy that's not true that's not true this this is an arcade toy I take this I plug this into my TV and if this thing breaks, you throw it in the trash. It's a toy. Parts aren't replaceable. There's nothing you can do with this once it's once it no longer works. This, on the other hand, is a miniature arcade machine. What what makes something a toy versus a real arcade? You know, let's talk about it. So arcade one up has uh, done something pretty phenomenal uh, for the arcade business. Arcade One Up has created a whole new market, or uh, have really transformed an existing market. And, and that market, which I'm talking about, is the hobby grade arcade market. Uh, like many other uh, markets, say. Uh, radio control vehicles or um, drones you you typically have a professional product high priced uh, served to make money and made to, to make money and to, to serve a very specific commercial usage that's what the arcade uh, business was designed for and over time uh, toys have been developed to uh, introduce people to that to that uh, industry uh, at a very low cost entry level uh, you know, products for entry level into that industry and so they're clearly toys but where Arca arcade one up has uh, helped to um, to, to develop is the hobby grade market and, and like with those RC cars and with those drones and other similar products the hobby grade is where the money is because a certain person is going to buy the professional product and a, another very different person is going to buy the toy um, but where the hobby grade product flourishes is that because like many things when we talk about the personal computer the thing that makes a computer awesome is you get to personalize it and that's what hobby grade products uh, that's how uh, hobby grade products are made better is that you can personalize it you don't have to be content with the out of box experience you can customize it to your liking and that is the market where the arcade one up fits in helps to develop and helps to flourish and I'm excited for what the the, the where this industry is going as a result of this new product that started at the end of 2018 and expanding into 2019 the the buttons on any arcade, you can go and buy any arcade machine, and the, mach and the buttons could be crap. The, the buttons could re require replacement. The screen could be shot. If I bought a real arcade machine, um, all these parts are replaceable. Everything on here that makes this an arcade machine is replaceable. Okay, what is an arcade machine? What is an arcade cabinet? Simply but wood, 
and some controls, a screen to display it, and some type of computer to to, to give you the game functionality. So it's a, a freaking arcade machine. It's not a toy. If you want to use a, a term to say it's not an authentic arcade machine, then let's say a better term would be it's a hobby grade arcade cabinet. Because when we use that term hobby grade, that specifies and signifies that it's not a toy. It's not something that if it breaks, you have to throw it away. It means that if it breaks, there's replaceable parts available to get it working again. So I would say that this arcade 1UP cabinet is a hobby grade arcade cabinet. That's a better term because I can replace the screen, I can replace this bezel, I can replace this control panel, I can replace these buttons, these joysticks, you know. Uh, as you can see here, I can add a coin box. Let's just go down here, you know. I can add, I can add a coin box. So, if I want to take coins, you know, I can do that. You know, it's a hobby grade arcade cabinet. Alright, so these devices are are incredible. Uh, not only hobby grade machines, but DIY machines. So that's that's the beauty of it. Because it's a new segment of the market, uh, you have new players that are coming in. And even existing players that have been making these things for the larger cabinets are now seeing the benefit and, and reaping the financial gain of making parts available at the size for these machines. So this coin box is a uh, the same coin box you would buy for a regular arcade machine, obviously available to be put into the arcade one up cabinets. Um, you know, the marquee graphics and signs, uh, you have new players that are coming and, and, and started to make those because the demand is here. And the reality of it is, at this price range, it opens up a whole new segment of the market, a whole new audience of, of customers that are looking to upgrade these machines. So the future only looks brighter for these cabinets and the availability of parts and upgrades. Some people are replacing the graphics. So obviously this is not the same size as a normal cabinet. So uh, they have to custom make these. But once they make and have the dimensions for one customer, that makes it much easier for them to make those same products at the same size available for the new customers that are realizing that these are not toys but are hobby, hobby grade DIY products that they don't have to keep as stock but can upgrade. So new companies are making marquees backlit and those are going to only get, get better but a lot of people are making themselves uh, so that's awesome. Some people are making their own uh, custom control panels. But again, the cabinet makers that have been in this market for years making them at one size are now going to start making these things available. So you'll see those coming uh, to the market as well. Uh, so you see people are putting trim on the machines, whatever color you want. They're putting new graphics on the control panel, new graphics on the front panel and the kick plate. Uh, so there's no limit. To what you can do and people are doing more things with these things than they were even doing with the full-size camera so once again these things are incredible I think that it's only gonna get better as the new cabinets come out that's gonna bring new customers into the fold and it's gonna bring new opportunities from existing suppliers and new players in the hobby grade supplies chain so this, 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 this is awesome. You, you, if you get these things, you're definitely going to enjoy them as they are or the way, any way that you want to upgrade them. So let's use the proper terms. Let's, let's use the proper terms when we're referencing this. And as much as the arcade elites and snobs will like to try and push people away from these boxes, these boxes are incredible. There's so many people out here including myself that have wanted for years and years to own a arcade machine to be able to come home from work and throw in a quarter 
and play their favorite game. Where, where else, you know, for for this price? That's, that's unheard of. So does that make it a toy? You know, most of us have already modded these things out the gate. I think I think I played this maybe a week or two. I, I never even played this one except uh, when I was putting it together. Uh, you know, before I got into hobby mode, changed out the parts and made it a whole different, better ex uh, uh, experience. You know, as it was out the gate, no problem with it. I just wanted more. And that's what a hobby grade cabinet allows you to do. If it was a toy, it would be stuck the way it is. Stuck the way the manufacturer intended to be. It would simply do that one function. But because it's a hobby grade cabinet, it is changeable. It's modifiable. It is upgradable. It is, you, you know, you can make it as nice as you want. Keep it as simple as you, as you want. But these things are wonderful, man. So if you're out there on the fence and you come across these videos, these these real arcade enthusiasts and, and elitists and snobs uh, trying to put these things down, don't don't fall for it. Because out the gate, if you only want to play Street Fighter, if you only want to play Galaga or Pac-Man or whatever those cabinets were designed to do, they're 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 a fantastic buy for the price and for the playability and for the fun factor you're not going to get a better value anywhere add a few uh, hundred dollars into it a little bit of elbow grease and these things become a much more better experience than any real arcade machine you can find on the market so take it for what it's worth it's not a toy it's a hobby grade cabinet that's uh, tons of fun when friends come over and play this with or without the coin box, with or without the LED buttons, with or without, you know, all the games, because I, I lock mine down so that they only have a smaller list of games to play, uh, just to eliminate the, the decision-making process of going through tons of games. Um, people love these things. Even my wife, she, I would have never known she was a Golden X fan. She loves Golden X. And now she comes into the man cave occasionally a lot more than she did before and come down she'll come down here and play a game with me i'll join in with her i'm not you know really a big fan of those beat em type games but it's something she enjoys and i enjoy uh playing with her so i'll pick up this uh, jump in um and and go next is one of those not go yeah go next go next one of those games where it actually gets to the to the end it's like you you can beat the game um so if she she needs some help I'll jump in and, and be a second player for her. Um, but most of the time, I'm over here playing Donkey Kong or Galaga, and uh, she's there. We have our drinks um, and just enjoy the experience of an arcade right in our house. We don't have to travel and drive. We don't have to uh, go out and get quarters or, or deal with Dave and Buster's car system with the crazy point system that you never know what you're going to uh, have left on that car. To me, Dave & Buster's and those type of companies that have those cars, they, they ruin the arcade experience. They, get, they got greedy. They, they wanted to uh, make sure that you always had credits on this car, that you always had to put more money on it. It's, it's just horrible. The, to me, the experience of arcade is I can walk in there with a set amount of money, and I know I can play a set amount of games. And uh, I, think, I think the arcade experience just was ruined with greed and corporate. Um, when, the, when the corporate jumped in and took over, but um, I digress. Uh, if you're on the fence, man, don't don't fall for it. And these things are available, uh, and you can get them at great prices. In some places, you can get these things for a hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars. Um, but even at two ninety nine, you're not going to get a better a deal, a better value than that for the fun factor that you're going to have. Um, at those prices, some people have multiple games. They have multiple. They have an entire uh, arcade um, collection, and and they're looking forward to buying more when the new the new models come out for this year. Um, me, I'm more of a minimalist. You know, uh, I don't I don't need a row of arcade machines. 
I want to play the game. It's, it's, to me, it's about the it's about the joy of playing. Um, the, the 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 look of these things are incredible. I, I got my marquees. I'm still waiting on on those uh, uh, to come in from the retro collector. Uh, hopefully, it's going to come in soon. But I'll get these LED or these uh, backlit marquees up here, and that's going to make this thing even more uh, a great great hobby grade cabinet so hey thank guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so um if you want to donate to the channel there's a button there um got my first donation the other day that was great i appreciate you um i do this because i enjoy doing it um but if it helps you out making decisions uh you know support the channel if you're gonna if you're gonna upgrade mod if you're gonna get the tapes or you're gonna get the new buttons you know i have links in the description you know click those links it doesn't cost you any more to buy the same things but because you click through me it helps me to be able to get more things to have more videos coming and just to let me know that you guys are out there that you're interested in what i'm talking about you're interested in this subject line and i appreciate you hit that like button hit subscribe hit the bell so you know when the next video comes out and make some comments below i help people out every day and i don't have a problem uh, some of the bigger channels, man, they have so many subscribers that they just don't have time to answer questions. And a lot of them come and they find me, and I don't have a problem answering because I enjoy doing this. I would do this uh, whether I made a dime, but definitely uh, because these things cost money to upgrade and to keep showing you what's available, um, it, it is very appreciated that you do that. And my wife appreciates it because she can keep her money in her pocket and the channel can pay for itself. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate you. Until next time, I'll see you on the web. So here at the Audi, I don't know if you uh, are familiar with Audi, it's a German supermarket. It used to be one of those uh, frozen warehouse type markets years ago, but now they're quickly evolving into a regular grocery store. Sort of sneaking in the back door like Walmart did, Kmart. Um, anyway, we got these uh, little retro Frogger and Miss Pac Man. Pac Man. Looks like it started off at probably you know, 9.74, down to 6.49. Pretty cool. Let's take a look here. Plug directly into the TV, just a little joystick and A and B button. Looks, those screens don't look like, looks a little weird. I don't know if those are actual screens or not. Screens look a little funny to me not much information looks like it's got uh, RCA cables takes batteries Yeah, I mean, retro gaming is coming back. They're going to find ways to get into your home one way or the other. Not bad, but I'm going to pass. Sitting on the shelf. 